looking at the tibia. We've got an anterior view here of a left tibia and we can tell that because we've got a medial malleolus down the distal end and then a medial surface here with an anterior border right at the front, a nice sharp edge there. Uh, so then this must be the medial condyle that we're looking at here. We have a lateral condyle here and tibial tuberosity in between. Now if we then look at the proximal end, we can see we've got a medial tibial plateau, a smooth articular surface there, and a lateral tibial plateau. And in between the two plateaus, we have a couple of bumps, which are tubicles. So you can see them sticking up there. So they're intercondylar tubicles. Then and on the anterior aspect, we have an anterior intercondylar area and posteriorly a posterior intercondylar area. And what attaches to the anterior intercondylar area? The anterior cruciate ligament, brilliant, and then the, the posterior? The posterior cruciate ligament, yeah, good stuff. Okay, so that's what we can see there. Now the other way we can be sure, if the medial malleolus isn't enough, that um, which side we're on, is on the lateral aspect, a bit posteriorly, so on the lateral, the, the posterior aspect of the lateral condyle, we have a, an, a, a facet for the fibula. So the head of the fibula is going to atta attach there or articulate there. And we can see a smooth articular facet for the fibula there. Also on the posterior surface, we've got this oblique line, so a line running down here on an angle, and that's the soleal line. And then not far from that, We've got a, it, hopefully you can see a little groove just here. At the bottom of that groove there's actually a foramen and that's a nutrient foramen. So that's where blood vessels will go in and out so they can get inside uh, to the medullary cavity of the shaft of the bone. So that's a nutrient foramen and you often find them about here on the tibia. Now, we're on the posterior surface. So this flat area here is the posterior surface. If we just come and have a look at the lateral point of view, then we've got a lateral surface here, and this border here, this sharpish line here, is the interosseous border. So the fibula, of course, is going to sit here on the lateral side, so that's, that has to be the interosseous border, and the interosseous membrane will attach there, and then also to an interosseous border on the fibula. And while we're here, down at the distal end, we have a notch here for the fibula to articulate with. Remember there'll be an interosseous membrane between the two bones there and that's why it's not a smooth articular surface. It's not covered in cartilage. It just has a ligament that joins the two bones. 